In this video, I'm going to talk about HAR extension file. HAR is basically HTTP archive file. Now, HAR is a file format basically used by several HTTP session tools to export the captured data. Now, the use case is basically if you are uh, encountering an issue within your application, and if it's a web-based application, and if you are using a browser called as Microsoft Edge or maybe Chrome or Firefox, so in my context, I'm using Microsoft Edge. So from an Edge perspective, uh, you can actually execute the, uh, the application and try to simulate the error. And once you get that trace ready, you can export the entire session as a HAR file. Now, what is the purpose of this? The HAR file basically uh, it will contain all the HTTP request response and all the traces happening between your system uh, and the third party system if you are uh, uh, interacting with uh, such systems. Now, what it will do, it will basically collect the traces and store it in a file. Now, HAR file can contain sensitive information because it can contain cookies information. It can contain some personal information which you sent across uh, while sharing those uh, traces. So it is always advisable to redact the sensitive information before sharing the HAR file. Now, the file extension is .HAR. Now, .HAR file can be generated using the developer tool options available within Microsoft Edge. Now, what is the purpose of generating those files? Now, take for example, if you are uh, consuming some services from say Microsoft or Google or Amazon or any, any organization, and if you are using web-based application, and uh, if you want to not share your screen uh, with the customer support service agent, uh, then what you can do, you can collect those traces, you can simulate those errors and then take those trace information and then hand it over to the customer support team. Now, what the customer support team is going to do, they are going to take that HAR file and try to process the information. Now, HAR file cannot be read directly uh, using, say, Notepad or Word or any other application. So it needs a special tool uh, to read the file. So for that, we need to have something called as HAR Analyzer tool. Now, what HAR Analyzer tool does is basically it outputs the HAR file content into nice uh, graphical user interface uh, uh, pattern. Now, what it displays, it displays basically the outputs in a tabbed fashion. Now, uh, in a uh, in a web request, you can have a uh, request, and once you receive the response from the server, you will get a response. You get a response code. You get a response content. You can uh, you can pass on the cookies, uh, timing information. So those all things will get displayed uh, in a tabbed format. Now it displays response code, request size, response size, and total time, and a request response timing breakdown. Now. Uh, in my example, I'll be showing you HAR analyzer tool from Google. So what we are going to do, we are going to do uh, use Microsoft Edge browser, simulate an error or some uh, transaction, download the HAR file and then give that HAR file for the uh, to the Google analyzer tool. And the Google tool will basically uh, give you uh, the output uh, of uh, the HAR extension file. Now, if you see in the screen over here, this is a Google uh, HAR analyzer tool. So what it does is basically it takes your file and then it uh, uh, renders the information in a graphical format. Now, if you see in the screen over here, you will see various colors like green, blue, purple, orange. Now, that color has some meaning into it. So that indicates the request start that indicates the response received, that indicates the delay, that indicates all the transactions happening during the transit from of the packet from one uh, source system to uh, the destination system. Now, we can again sort uh, the content by relative or independent timing type. And on the right hand side, you will see request, response, response content, cookies, timing based outputs. So this is the second screen. Basically, if you see over here, I'm using Google Admin Toolbox, one of the tool called as HAR Analyzer. And then from there, I can uh, get all the HTTP status code uh, segregated information. I can even sort, I can even put into the group by 
uh, and then I can sort the information as for my need. So who's going to use this? So take, for example, if you have a situation whereby you are like the service provider and if your client uh, has some issue using your application, then what you can do, you can ask your client to provide you an HAR file and then internally you can use Google Admin Tools HAR Analyzer to analyze the HAR file. HAR is basically HTTP archive file. Now, HAR output format, as I mentioned to you, it will give you cookie information. It will give you response content, like the size, whether it is compressed, the content, uh, and also it will give you timing entries as well, like how much time the request was blocked, what was the DNS time, what was the connection time, what was the wait time, receive time, and how much time did it spend while um, negotiating the SSL request. Uh, similarly, from a response perspective, you will have all the uh, headers like the accept range, strict transport security, uh, XMS uh, service request ID, X service fabric, date, server timing, and so on and so forth. So let's jump into the demo just to show you how does this entire process work. So uh, let me go into the Microsoft Edge browser. So this is Microsoft Edge browser and uh, I do not I do not have any application specific with me. So what I'm going to do is like I'm going to use Power Apps. So one of the application you can pick up any application. So I have one Power Apps application and which is a canvas app basically. So uh, this app doesn't do anything fancy. It is just a form with a couple of buttons in it. Okay, so I'm just opening this application now. Now, so take for example, if this is an application and then um, I'm facing an issue with the application. So I'm been, I have been requested by the customer support team to provide an HAR file. Now remember, if you raise any ticket with Microsoft or Google, they will ask you to do the same thing. They will ask you to provide the copy of HAR file. So if they ask you to do that, what you need to do, you need to open the browser. Take for example, if you are using Microsoft Edge browser. The same thing can be done with Chrome, Firefox as well. But I'm giving an example of Microsoft Edge. What you need to do is you need to press F12 or you can just click three dots over here, go to more tools and then go to developer tools. Now in developer tools over here, you will find a lot of information. You may get confused. So what you need to do is first thing, go into the or tab called as network okay so you might be in either console or services or network tab or elements tab or you might be in the welcome tab what you need to do is you need to go into the network tab now before you go into the network tab let's look into the console tab and you will here you will see a lot of warnings uh, errors and all those things so let me clear this off let me clear the console okay and now i will navigate to the network tab now here we haven't started recording okay so if you want to record what you need to do you need to press this recording button okay so here in this case it has already started recording i will just clear the network log over here okay and now i can stop the recording okay so i can start the recording i can stop the recording so if you see this icon over here it is a white icon that means nothing is getting recorded but if i press red icon uh, uh, if the icon changes to red, then it is started the recording of network log. So let me stop this for a moment. I'll just clear everything. I'll go into the console section. I'll clear everything over here. Let me jump into the network tab. Now here, what I'm going to do is like I'll start recording. Okay. So I'll be simulating the error to showcase it to the customer service representative. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start recording the network log and I'll click on this uh, button. Okay. So something may happen, you know, so let's assume this is a scenario. This is something is happening over here and uh, I'll just again click over here. So we have tra recorded some traces over here and I I'm not simulating an exact error, but then this is just like a trace. Okay. So I'll just stop this recording. Now, once I stop this recording, there is a button over here, which is export HAR or, or download a file. So I'm going to export this HAR file and let me call this as Girish Power Apps. And this is a HAR file. Now, remember uh, when we started recording, uh, this particular uh, checkbox was turned on called as preserve log. So in your case, if it is not turned on, uh, then make sure that you turn it on. And then there are various other options which you can 
uh, configure from the menu but this is important you need to click on preserve log to record all the logging actions now we have downloaded this file let me show you where that file is so let me go into the downloads now here i will see this file as girish power apps dot har now this file we cannot open it in notepad okay so for that we need to use some sort of a special tool now for that what i'm going to do i'm going to go to google admin toolbox so that the url is toolbox.googleapps.com okay and here you will find lot of google a uh, uh, lot of tool provided by google uh, so one of the tool is called as hr analyzer so if i click on hr analyzer then it will take me to the uh, the hr analyzer tool now similarly you can navigate to other tool provided by the google admin toolbox like check mx like the mail record browser info log analyzer log analyzer to message header encode decode screen recorder and so on and so forth some of them will work in edge some of them may not like the screen recorder may not work in uh, microsoft edge you may need google chrome for that okay so now in google admin toolbox we are in hr analyzer tool now what are we are going to do we are going to select a hr file now once i select this hr file i'll just need to select it from here and now what it has done it has interpreted the information from the hr file now i can filter by various http code over here so if you see over here if i don't want to see two xx information like any http status code starting with 2 or 200 201 202 202 and so on and so forth i can select that if i do not want say 4 i can deselect that okay so like that i can uh, select and deselect this information okay so currently i'm just just keep everything over here if i just scroll down i can see for every green tab if you see that this is a uh, like a request or a response received from the system okay now let me pick up say one of the action so let me pick up this one line item okay now if i see this line item on the right hand side i will see what has happened with that particular request so what was requested what was the post data what was the response what was the response content cookies timing okay now if you see this colored information over here so let me select this part now and now here if you see from a timing perspective uh the gray icon indicates blocked the block time was 1 millisecond then wait time was 0 millisecond and the receive time was 1 millisecond so like this you can break down the timing and check for if there are any troubled processes or any services which are blocking your entire uh request now there are other things which you can see over here you can grab into the response code you can get the request size response size uh, and uh, the total time taken for executing those requests also you can search for uh, here uh, if i just type say power uh, and then if i just want to search for <coughs> any information related to power or power apps then i can do that filtering over here okay so this is how you basically use the google admin toolbox hr analyzer to analyze the hr file content so that's it folks this is all about hr file hr file usages in microsoft edge and analyzing the hr file using google admin toolbox thanks for watching